is lethal at the moment. At his best, he's unplayable. That is just wonderful timing. Capable of just about anything. Oh. That forehand burned through the air. Possessing some of the biggest shots in the game, Juan Martín del Potro is a match for anyone. Success at the 2009 US Open paved the way for great things. Then, a serious wrist injury stalled a flourishing career. Now fully fit and back to his best, the Argentinian is being talked about as more than just a top 10 player. If I had to pick one guy that has the most upside, um, it's Del Potro. He was there in 2009. I really believe, had he not injured himself, would have been number one in the world in 2010. He's now finally starting to get back to that same place he was. And if anybody can make a push, it's him. I think if he didn't have the wrist injury, he would have already been part of that top four, maybe would have been a top five. Yeah, he, he's the one that you expect to be the first one to start threatening uh, the, these four players. Widely regarded as the man to challenge the elite quartet, Del Potro burst onto the scene back in 2008 with a remarkable run of four straight tournament victories. A stunning achievement in its own right. Of course I had memories in all my tournaments when I, when I made a good tournament. It's not easy to win four tournaments in a row, but of course I had fantastic memories on that. Last year was Del Potro's most consistent since that breakthrough season. Once again, he managed four tournament wins in one campaign. I would love to, to repeat uh, the, year, like the past season, but every year is different. Now I'm, I'm working hard to improve my game in indoor courts, on, on clay courts and on grass court also. I, I know be the top five is, is a long road, but uh, I, I'm trying to get there or to get closer to the best player in the world. But, I know, I know I need to work day by day. A clear sign that his hard work was paying off on the grass courts came last summer on the Olympic stage. Del Potro collected a bronze medal at the All England Club. It was my, my second best moment ever of my career, I think. And I was really, really happy when I got the bronze medal beating Djokovic in, in two sets. And when I go back to Argentina, all the, the country was expecting my my arrival with the with the medal and my family, my parents, everybody was really happy for me. He's had success on every surface, but that famous 2009 US Open victory came outdoors on the hard courts, where he is now regarded as a man to avoid. He plays kind of far behind the baseline, which is his comfort zone. You know, it gives him time to really wind up for his ground strokes and his big forehand. So maybe the outdoor hard court is really the best surface for Del Potro to, to show his talent against the big four. It appears he has every chance of making the big four a big five. But caution remains a key attribute for a player who's endured setbacks. Looking forward for all the season, be part in the top 10 for the, for the rest of the season. It's going to be uh, fantastic for me and also I will I have a big chance to be in the top five uh, when I get ready. Healthy again, Argentina's finest will be a major player in the US this summer.